All right, all right. We're at uh, week number nine, journal number nine of uh, documenting uh, the legal blindness journey and for my counselors and whatnot. And uh, happy to report that uh, for a number of weeks now in a row, um, staying stable at uh, about 15 inches of uh, functional vision. So that's pretty cool. Um, had a couple of snafus this week. Um, you know, it's going to happen. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, again, for a couple of people who have asked what I'm talking about when I say about 15 inches of functional, um, right up there on the wall, there's a big R on the wall there. About 15 inches out, it's a little fuzzy. You know, it's not not perfect, but it's doable. Um, that's basically what, what it's talking about. Um, so I measure that every week, so I kind of see uh, how things are going. So to that end, uh, had, uh, like I said, a little snafu uh, this week, a couple of them. Uh, main one was that uh, went uh, a couple of days, several days ago, um, went to a movie, um, trying to see how that was going to go. Um, probably not something I'll do uh, normally because it's, uh, it's too blurred to be really enjoyable, to be honest with you. But um, had done it a few weeks ago, sitting back where we would normally sit um, in the center back and it was uh wasn't great so i was going to try it this time sitting not all the way at the front but the lower level in the back there at the front so uh kiddos went up to the normal in the back center and i went that way and wasn't using my cane uh and um that's generally how these stories start i uh, wasn't using my cane because i thought it was flat down there in the lower section. I've never been to one where you could step up to go up and you step down to go down until now. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I didn't realize I thought it was flat. It looked kind of flat and I dang near broke my ankle. Um, caught myself, uh, just before hitting the floor. Uh, so, um, that was fun. Uh, and, uh, a little embarrassing, but, uh, so I guess, uh, moral of the story and continues to be the moral of the story. Use your cane, you idiot. So, uh, but, uh, that was, uh, that was what it was. Uh, just another reminder, you know, should use it. You never know when the terrain's going to change, when it's going to be higher or lower and you think it's uh, going to be flat. Um, I had, uh, one other instance where, um, my spouse was, uh, doing the seeing eye human deal and, and we're getting much, much better. I have to say we're getting a lot better at that. Uh, normally I use my cane, uh, but uh, when we are doing that, we're still getting a little better on that. Uh, but at any rate, I uh, was walking through a restaurant. A chair was pushed out. Um, she instinctively walked around it, um, and um, it was right in that dead peripheral where I just couldn't see out the corner, and I freaking plowed right through that thing. Uh, luckily, I didn't uh, didn't hit the floor or anything, but it was... Not quiet if you've ever kicked a chair, uh, and uh, I kicked the chair, and that thing went, Woo! so, you know, but whatever. Um, you know, it, uh, I said, uh, hey, uh, I'm not mad. It's good food. I just couldn't see it. And uh, a couple people had a good laugh at that, and we just kept on moving. So, overall, uh, pretty, pretty solid week. I can't, can't complain. Um, I had a few more pretty solid headaches, um, but, uh, uh, part of that is I'm not able to use some of the, uh, software, uh, yet, um, that I would like to for the auditory stuff. So I'm having to push my vision a little more than I, I should, uh, but working on that, working that out. Um, I have, will say I've stepped up the, um, record the audio a few times. Uh, where uh, the books on tape are, are uh, significantly faster than they used to be. Um, so I keep keep pushing that up. Um, my, uh, I had relatives in town, and my nieces wanted to hear that. And uh, so I played it for them, and we were playing the game of, you know, uh, what did they say? And uh, um, it was interesting because uh, for the most part, it was jibber jabber for them and I was able to pick out and tell them exactly what it was. So that was pretty good. Uh, sorry about the tropical storm alerts going off, uh, flash flooding, whatever it is. Uh, so, 
Uh, got some uh, good things coming up here shortly. Going to go be doing the O and M school, um, and then following up after the O and M uh, intense week long school. Um, apparently, we're going to uh, be doing locally um, some group O and M, which um, if you haven't heard these yet, O and M is the orientation and mobility, uh, where they go out and teach you how to walk around your environment and whatnot. So um, I think we're going to be playing uh, Permadeath Frogger. Um, so, uh, that should be fun. Uh, basically, uh, after the week long school, uh, we come back, uh, then I guess they're going to put us into uh, groups, uh, and, um, groups of blind people. That should be fun. Uh, take us into environmentals and have us practice what we've been learning, uh, leading up to, uh, you know, walking across the highway, the, the crosswalk of the highway and stuff like that. Um, so uh, again, uh, I jokingly call that permadeath frogger because, you know, you don't get to reset it if you mess that up. Uh, but, uh, there's, I mean, you, you can do all these things, uh, even with visual impairment, uh, just, you do them differently. Um, some things you take a little more time with, make sure you get it right. Uh, you know, some things, um, there's not a whole lot of difference. Uh, other things you push through and you pay for it, uh, with migraines and things like that. Uh, but, you know, uh, I would say that the, the biggest thing uh, for me so far um, is, you know, I can't drive a car. Um, I guess I could, but you wouldn't want me to. Uh, but uh, I can't drive a car. But otherwise, I mean, for the most part, um, I can get through most things that, that I used to do when I was fully sighted. Um, and some things I'm, I'm actually finding uh, ways to do them faster. Uh, and that comes back to um, things that I can play on an auditory basis. And there's a lot of software where you can play things now. Um, you know, almost every book can be played. Um, a lot of the computer code and SQL code can be played uh, if you've got the right software and the right, right hardware set up. And a lot of that I'm actually finding where my comprehension, my auditory comprehension is speeding up um, considerably. And I can do some of it faster than I could before. So that's kind of exciting. There's a good possibility that over time, um, some things that are, are possible deficits today actually may become uh, the opposite. Um, so, you know, because I've, uh, I have been reading where uh, people with visual impairment that, that practice, that work on this and, and religiously try to improve, um, can get to where they can actually hear and comprehend faster than a, a sighted person can ever read and comprehend. Um, so that's my goal right now. I'm trying to push that up. Um, I've also been working on uh, Braille uh, more. Um, the I don't know that we can see it, but uh, the sign on the wall, uh, the gold and black one, that's every Braille and letter and number. Um, and then the, there's a clipboard beside of it with a bunch of tactile Braille. So I've been working on that. Um, it's, uh, it's coming along. It's work in progress. I'm working on A through J right now. Um, but it's... Uh, it's definitely something that's going to take a lot of time. Uh, not, no, no questions about it. Uh, but also something that I think is uh, going to be very, very, very useful um, as we move forward. Um, learning a bunch of new stuff in the respects that uh, the um, we'll be getting a uh, iPad uh, in the next few weeks, um, and apparently uh, with the iPad Pro, you can uh, actually take and. Uh, mirror uh, from an iPhone uh, up to it. So that's pretty cool because, you know, like if you've got your work email on your iPhone, um, you can actually use the iPad as a larger screen um, for that when you're traveling and things like that. So very, very uh, excited for that to come in and start uh, working with that. A lot of other technologies and things that are going to be coming and I'm planning on uh, demo demoing those on, on the channel and talking those through because I think they're really, really cool. And I, I think for the most part, a lot of people don't even know they're out there. Um, and if you're having some struggles with vision and whatnot, these, uh, these tools can be very effective to help. So any anyway, rate, um, so I guess that's where we're going to wrap up for this week. Uh, just a couple of little snafus. Dang near busted my ankle. Um, and the, the moral of the story is use the cane, you bloody idiot. You're right. And uh, we'll keep working on that. Um, but uh, super happy. Uh, no no further negative slide in my vision. Um, that makes probably six weeks almost now. Um, and I'm not hanging my head on that. It's going to go down. Um, that's just 
part of the, the disease. Uh, but for now, take the win when I can get it. So, all right. Well, y'all be good out there. Peace out, Girl Scout.